voyage from San Francisco brought a lot of things to Tom Jeffords, Indian agent for the Chiricahua Apaches. But this particular stage brought something unexpected and ominous, a United States Marshal with a warrant for Jeffords' arrest. Why are you in the home of the Chiricahuas? He told me I might find Tom Jeffords here with the chief, Cochise. I am Cochise. Where is Tom Jeffords? Your gun will do you no good here. What do you want with Jeffords? I am a United States Marshal. Yes? And I've come here to put him under arrest. What has he done? That is the business of the United States government. You are a brave man to come here alone. But that is what I am paid for. To serve papers and deliver prisoners. What crime has Jeffords committed? That is for a judge to decide. Can a man be put in jail if he is innocent? A man may be held until his trial. If a man is guilty, he should be punished. If not, he should be free. Where is Jeffords? I'm in a hurry. Chino. United States Marshal. You're talking in circles, Rogers. But you know exactly what I'm talking about. Take your hand off my horse. Naturally, Cochise will swear it was self-defense. Rogers! How'd you just accuse me of killing you? Well, I'm not the only United States Marshal in town, Tom. Another one came in about three days ago from San Francisco with a warrant for your arrest. My arrest? What for? Stealing Indian supplies, Tom. Where's the San Francisco Marshal now? I don't know for sure. First stop in Tucson was here, then he asked for you. What'd you tell him? That if you weren't at the agency, he'd find you with Cochise. Thanks, Fred. Taking over as agent for the Chiricahua Apaches. Who are you? Tom Jeffords. Oh. Well, I'm Arthur Spruance. This is my authority. Recognize the name from the shipping orders. How long have you been here? Three days. And where have you been? Fort Grant. Oh. You know about the marshal? I understand he's looking for me. That's right. He and I came in together. My orders are to hold down the agency until you clear yourself, and I'm sure you will. Diversion of supplies, ridiculous. And when I know about you, Mr. Jeffords, that's absolutely unbelievable. Thanks. Where is the marshal? 
He uh, found an Apache who took him up to Cochise. That's where he was told you'd be. That was three days ago. Well, I'd better find him. Thanks. Chino, where is Cochise? He is not here. He's gone to the Flat Rock. Thanks. My brother is troubled. It is true, Cochise. Then let us talk. Where is the Marshal? What Marshal? I was told a United States Marshal had come here. There is no United States Marshal in my camp. Have you seen him? I have seen many men. Cochise, you play a game of words with me. Is not all speech a game of words? He has a warrant for my arrest. What have you done wrong? Nothing. And it is better you forget this man. You have done nothing to him. Have you? No Apache has harmed him. But you have seen him. You know all about him. Where is he, Cochise? Is it wrong to protect you? I am not asking for protection. Then I must do it against your wishes. Cochise, I am charged with a crime I did not commit. The Marshal is an officer of the law doing his duty. Well, I have a duty, too. To face any charges against me and prove them false legally. I do not wish to argue. Where is he? I must do as one does with a child and a snake. Remove the snake. What have you done with him? I will not lead you by the hand into trouble. Mr. Jeffords. You have seen Cochise? Yes, we have talked, you know. Does it not feel good to be free? Say that again? I said, does it not feel good to be free? Where is the marshal? Near the old buffalo grounds. Shape. They sent me out with an Apache. When I woke up, the next morning, he was gone. It's a good thing you came along. Who are you? My name's Tom Jeffords. I understand you're looking for me. I'm your prisoner, Marshal. time people found out Tom Jeffords a crook. Now they got enough evidence on him to hang him. Clumsy Indian. Now apologize. No 
Indian can get away with that. Wait till he comes back out. Come on, the light, Tom. Not take long for news to reach Cochise. It never does. I'll give you five minutes. I'll take as long as you want. It's like an animal in a cage. The law says I have to stay here until they take me to San Francisco. I cannot make you understand. Tonight. When the town sleeps, you will be free. I have brought warriors. No, Cochise. No one will be hurt. It is simple. No! Is it not better for you to come with me to the stronghold where no one could harm you? This is the last time I will tell you this. I must appear to prove my innocence. Open the door! I am not an animal. Fred! Be right with you, Tom. That wasn't even five minutes. Cochise wants to leave. Yeah, I guess it is kind of cramped in there. You feel like stretching? I cannot understand a man who would choose to live like that. around me, Indian. Let the man walk by, Rogers. Thanks, Rogers. Tell. I thought you'd prefer your own. Thanks, Fred. You'd be better under the mattress. Sorry. Ago. Fine. I told the stage driver to stop by here on his way up. The paper's ready, so we can take over the prisoner. Now, the prisoner's ready. Seven terrible days and six worse nights. That is, if we're lucky and an axle doesn't break. Quick, he's got a gun in his belt. I know, I brought the holster. Marshal, I know you do things your own way, but Tom Jeffers is my friend and I think you ought to trust him. Especially since he saved your life. I'll take that. For the past couple of days, people have been telling me that Jeffers is a clever and devious man. So I'm not taking any chances. Thanks anyway, friend. Well, don't misunderstand me, Jeffers. I'm not saying you're guilty or not guilty. This is my job, and I'm trying to do it properly. Better not miss that stage.
There isn't a man in town who's a match for Tom with a gun. Thanks, Marshal. Cochise. Get on the horses. I told Cochise to keep out of this. Or continue on. Mr. Jeffords, I owe you an apology. Stop. Go on without them. Where are you taking us? To Cochise. This man was your friend, so I asked him to help because you were in trouble. And I saw something in his eyes. It was not good. Spring shipment of supplies. On its way to Mexico to be sold. Trumped up that phony charge against me. Almost worked, didn't it? Well, Marshal? 
Tell me, Mr. Jeffords, has the telegraph come to this part of the country? It sure has. It won't take too long to obtain permission to change the name on my warrant for arrest, hmm? Get up on those wagons. Get them moving again. Ortiz, keep your men around them. Make sure that the supplies reach the agency where they belong. After this, catching crooks in San Francisco will seem almost like relaxing. 